Hello, I'm Carmen Roberts and welcome to our monthly look at what's making news in the world of travel on the web. Now, do you remember when a hotel was just a hotel, somewhere with a comfy bed to lay your head? Well, now there's usually a state-of-the-art spa, a celebrity owner and a concierge going out of their way to be your new best friend. Well, now it seems hoteliers are turning into TV producers too. The Intercontinental Group have produced a series of destination video guides showcasing some of the major cities where their hotels are situated. Austin supports a wide range of cultural activities, art exhibits and theatre events all within a couple of blocks of the hotel. While well, Ritz-Carlton has gone the whole hog and made their own short film in conjunction with American Express. The first film is about five minutes long and tells the story of a woman who's going through a rough week. Broke up with her boyfriend, had a six hour flight delay, the airline lost her luggage and to top it all off she was late for a concert. But luckily a Ritz-Carlton front desk clerk surprised her and made everything okay. I know it's 2 a.m., but your bag has arrived and they need your ID to release it. Apparently, the aim of RitzCarltonFilms.com is to attract a younger, hipper crowd. Now, I'm not sure if a video or movie on the web is going to make me book an extra night at any of these hotels, but if clicking on a movie promised a cheaper room, then that would be another story. Well, here's something that could save you a lot of time ahead of your holiday. In eyewear.com claims to revolutionize the way we buy sunnies. You can upload your own photo and try on a variety of different brands and find a pair that suits your face without leaving the comfort of your computer. The application allows you to resize the photo and the sunglasses. To be honest, I really didn't find the images online that realistic. And for me personally, I think it takes away from the shopping experience. But I can imagine most men would think it's a godsend not to have to brave the shop. Now, our intrepid Lego photographer has been at it again, this time in the US. But first, let's do a bit of a recap. Mike from London so far has sent in shots of the world's only Lego cable car in Singapore, the Lego Liberty Bell at Philadelphia Airport, and now, yes, this life-size Lego car at Beaver Creek in Colorado. If you've got any photos or holiday videos, send them in. We'd love to see them and we'll put them to air. The address is fasttracktravel at bbc.co.uk. OK, I have to admit, I'm a sucker for a group dance craze like the bus stop or the Macarena. Well, the Algorithm March is a dance fad created in Japan based on the children's television series Pythagoras Switch. And it's taking the world by storm. Check out these students in Sweden doing it. Then there are those crazy blokes in Chinese pyjamas in Mexico. But my personal favourite is the algorithm march at the airport. Well, that's all for this week. Keep those photos and videos coming in. The address is fasttracktravel at bbc.co.uk. Bye for now, but let me leave you with some more of that catchy algorithm march. Enjoy! <laughs> ひっくり返ってペコリンコ